hello everyone how have you been i hope you have been great and today i just wanted to share with you how i passed my anklets at 75 questions and the methods i used and everything that i used so that i would pass so let's get started so i did my anklets back in 2019 august and i my NCLEX shot at 75 questions during the first attempt and so today I will share with you what I used and I know everyone has their own uh, study skills or study tools but I'll just share mine maybe it might it may help someone out there so the very first thing is God honestly I I always trust everything to God and every time i would study i would tell god to help me retain the information that i'm studying and i believe he did help me retain the information and the second thing was to diversify my study tools uh, i was with avant and we used passpoint as our study tool so I also had friends from other agencies. They introduced me to UWorld and Kaplan and they shared with me, uh, there's one friend who would share with me her Kaplan and it helped me to be able to see, to have a wider range of questions and more understanding. Uh, towards the end of my education, like the last two months, that's when I bought UWorld and it was also an eye-opener for me because the questions are are like NCLEX. They are set the way NCLEX is set. And also I had downloaded some questions from the internet in the NCSBN website. I don't know how I got those questions, but I got like a thousand questions that I did. And they were also so good because I was able to understand from other platforms and have an eye opener for me. Uh, it's not necessary to go grabbing all the study tools that are out there because you might get confused. Get three or four maybe major study tools for you so that you can have a wide variety of knowledge. Uh, on my audios, I was introduced to Mark Klimek. I used to listen to Mark Klimek religiously when I'm doing my chores, when I'm going to work, like I was obsessed. And for YouTube, I would watch Sarah Registered Nurse, rn.com. She really teaches so well, and it helps you to understand the content. Uh, Avant had also given us some books, Sounders and NCLEX Illustrated uh, Guide. Those were for my content review though. I really needed to do a lot of questions. I am the type of person who really needs to do a lot, a lot of questions to understand. And I'm also the type of person that really has to study. I know there are some people out there who don't study as much and they get to pass, but um, I'm a visual learner as well as tactile. So I have to, to see and I have to write and I had a lot of notes. Uh, I had scribbled down uh, basic things like the labs just to every day to keep on perusing so that they can stick into my mind so that really helped me a great deal nowadays there is um actual review that is trending it's like you all and actually uh it's really really nice everyone who has used Acha review says good things about it and there's also summit studies i will attach everything in my description box so that you can filter out what you want to do with your studies. So that's it. Uh, the third point was dedication. Honestly, when I decide to do something, I am in a hundred percent and I, I try not to get distracted because I will lose focus. So I was really, really dedicated. I would attend the webinars that our agency offered. Sometimes I would get so tired. Maybe maybe I'm from night shift and I have a webinar at maybe 1 p.m. And I would struggle and I would wake up because 
I knew what I wanted. I knew I wanted to succeed and I wanted to pass that exam. So I would wake up for the webinars and I would attend. I would do the assignments because I didn't want any problems and trouble with my agency. So I would do the assignments on time. I had to sacrifice. And also I will do my own studies. Like I said, I had other study tools like Kaplan and CSBN and you all so when i was working i would do 50 to 75 questions per day but when i was off i would do 150 to 200 questions in a day especially towards uh, like the last two to three months because i wanted to exhaust all my questions so i would in the morning the first morning hours like up to noon i would do like 75 questions then two to around five I would, or six i would do another 75 questions that's 150. in the evening if i don't feel so much exhausted i would do like 50 questions so some days i'll be able to do 200 some days i'll be able to do 150 but on my off days the least i would do uh, 150 because i just wanted that resilience yeah and to exhaust all the questions so that come the exam day i would not feel like there's something pending somewhere it really does help a lot in psychology also being organized like i have just said in my prior point about how i would study like morning studies afternoon studies and evening studies just be organized if it is your audios be organized when should you listen to them um maybe when doing chores going to work coming out of work and i really i had my earphones every time i was going to work and it really does help so being organized helps you even to keep your mind organized and you are able to anticipate what you are what you should do next if it's the day for webinars and assignments i know today i won't be able to do a lot of questions so today i have a webinar at this time i have my assignment at this time and i have my personal studies at this time so it really does help because I thrive in organized uh, schedules and chaos just are not my thing. Uh, the fifth one is sacrificing the little pleasures. Life will always be there, but it reached a point where I was not able to be social, very social, like uh, hanging out with people because I had exam, especially towards the last month. I had an exam and I was studying like my life depended on it and I became like isolated but I would encourage myself that it's not it's not the end of life and uh, one day I'll be able to live life again so it's just for a short period of time it's a, it's for several months I will study like crazy and then after I pass my exam I'll be a free bird so I really, uh, sorry, I really had to sacrifice that time and sacrifice my movies. I didn't watch movies for a lot of months and I was really, really missing them. Sacrifice my social media. I was not as active. I really didn't care. Like I, I, it was not my priority at that moment. My only priority was to pass the exam and so I was studying and sacrificing anything that would interrupt me and take away my time. So sometimes you may feel like you don't want to sacrifice but it's worth it. Just remind yourself that it won't last forever. It will be a few months or a few weeks and you'll be done with that exam forever like you are done with NCLEX forever and you'll be what you want. Uh, so those are the main things just before the exam now i'll just share two more things uh, uh just right before the exam so right before the exam i had traveled to india and i remember the night before the exam we had always been told mark klimek and also our recruiters were always telling us that we should not study the day before the exam it will just confuse us more and you'll feel like you you feel more anxious because you'll see something that you don't know so just don't study rest eat well but it's it's easier said than done honestly but i told myself that from around 4 p.m 
the day before the exam i'm not touching any book i went got my supper ate but i was so anxious i was very very anxious uh i tried to sleep i got insomnia but i said no i'm not studying even if i get insomnia the whole night i'm not studying i'm not looking at any book um i just opened youtube put some worship music and i just left it there singing until i got to sleep because i didn't want to confuse myself more yeah so just the day travel if you are maybe traveling to south africa manila or india travel ahead of time so that you can have at least one or or two days uh to just rest refresh your mind and just uh kill the, the anxiety and to just feel composed and on the exam day make sure you go early it helps uh with you not to feel anxiety it helps you to feel ready pray i really prayed and i was so precise with god even before traveling i had done a nine day prayer i told god that my desire is to do 75 questions because avant would give us even 265 so that they can prepare us uh, back then we were doing 265 questions the highest and the low uh, and the least were 75 so avant would give us like 265 questions so that they prepare our minds in case you go and encounter 265 questions you won't feel overwhelmed but i had done 265 questions uh, during my assignments and i felt overwhelmed they were a lot because you reach at a point and you feel you just want to do them so that they can you can get rid of them and i had told god i really don't want to do 265 because i will feel overwhelmed i don't want to get that far so my prayer is to do just 75 that's my prayer but and most of all to pass not just to, to do 75 and not pass so i had written down everything i was praying for 75 questions and passing so the exam day i was uh, i was taken to the exam by 7 a.m my exam was supposed to be 8 a.m so i just stayed there uh, making silent prayers killing my anxiety taking deep breaths and then the exam came and i told god to take the wheel and to guide me through i had also told him please set this exam and the the questions let them be what i only know like what i have ever seen what i have ever read and retained please set the exam just for me customize it just for me so that it can be what i know and true to his word he did it and i remember reaching on number 75 and when i clicked next a survey came and was like okay should okay is this survey am i supposed to do it then go to number 76 so i did the survey there were some questions but those ones don't count in your marks and i did the survey then the computer shut down and i was like okay god okay so am i done yeah then i felt anxious and i was like okay sometimes you are told it can shut off at 75 if you have failed miserably so i told god but god i remember telling you i want 75 questions and i passed so i will trust in you so i went to my room i called my friend i told my friend to do a pop-up for me and they did a pop-up for me and it came good pop-up and we did it again and it came good pop-up and i was so elated and i knew that was god that was god and it was, it was his faithfulness and i went to explore delhi and came back and that's the end of how i passed nclex yeah and if you are doing nclex uh mark klimek usually told us that it's not a matter of life and death so but study 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 do your part do your very best and let god do the rest tell him what you want and he is faithful he does listen to us and he loves us so he wants what's best for us so just do your part and leave the rest to god and until next time bye bye and thank you